Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on MM1 Mute Master. In this video, I would like to show you how you can load um, three different um, songs or compositions using the Fire Player inside AUM and then use Mute Master to transition from one to the other accordingly. And we're going to do that in a very smooth way using the fade in option for each of the channel. So let's start clicking on the plus sign, adding three audio channels like so. Now for each of the audio channel, let's click inside and this time instead of selecting a synth, we select Fire Player. And we do the same for the other two channels like so. Perfect, let's tap on the first channel. Let's tap on where it says tap to load the file. And I'm going to use three compositions I previously created using Core Gadget. If you are interested, they are inside my sound for mode you channel if you want to hear them. So let's select Magic Moment for the first one. Let's click aside, select the second audio channel, tap to load file. Let's load the Space Synth Stars. And let's do uh, similarly on the third audio channel, let's load the Harmonic Program. Okay, perfect. Now let's add the MM1 Mute Master plugin. Let's click on the plus sign. Um, now um, let's uh, click and move down. Let's click on the search, type MM to load the Mute Master and do the same for the other two audio channels. Like so for the second one and also for the third one, let's load Mute Master. Okay, as you recall from the previous video, I mentioned that there are a number of settings which are shared between the different instances of Immute Master. So let's start first of all configuring what is unique to each of the instances, which is the audio channel and the fading, for example. So let's click on the first one. Let's also maximize the uh, window. So let's ensure that the channel select is number one and let's increase to max the channel fade. Okay, let's go to uh, the second one. Let's ensure that the channel is channel two, channel two, it is already channel two. Let's increase this to maximum uh, uh, again. Let's go to the third one and let's ensure that the channel select is channel three. Okay. And let's increase the fade of the channel to max. So channel three, fade to max, channel two, channel fade to max and channel one. As you can see here and also there on the um, title and channel one, so and channel fade to max. Now let's program some of the active button so that each button needs to know what to do with the channel. So let's ensure that we are we are on active pattern number one and let's enable channel number one. So when uh, when uh, mute master is playing pattern one, only channel number one is active. Let's move to pattern number two and let's ensure that channel two is uh, enable like in this case so if it isn't just click on it if there is another channel activated just uh, click again to the selected and activate it let's go to channel number three and ensure that this is on channel the channel three sorry let's go on pattern number three and let's ensure the channel three is enabled like so okay next let's select the pattern source to division for now well i'm going to do a different tutorial for this sequencer and so that means that the source that will change the patterns will be the division. Let's set the direction forward. So it will move from pattern one, two, three, and will continue like that, starting again from pattern number one. Let's uh, make the last pattern play uh, pattern number three, so that it doesn't go into four, five, six, seven, eight, where you will not hear anything. The sequence of division for now are not important because we are using, we are using just the division uh, source here. Then we need to configure the trigger uh, for the division. In this case, we leave it to bit per minute, which will come for the host. And now in terms of how many triggers um, we need to receive in order to change the pattern, we are going to set this up to 32. Okay, let's double check again in the other. So you can see, um, last button three, you can see set to division and set to 32. So as you can see, there are a shared configuration um, parameters which are kept. Same division here for the trigger, 
BPM here and 32 division. Now I'm going to click play and what you will see is that it will move from one pattern to the other and as it moves from one pattern to the other you will hear the difference um, on the audio different songs being played and you should hear as well the fading between one channel to the other because I set the fading uh, for each of the channel to max. Okay let's click play and let's just listen for a bit observe as this plays that the channels in um, is um, the active pattern is actually moving and therefore the channel the active channel is actually changing and um, let's actually double click on the window to minimize it and let's move it a little bit sorry to change the size let's move it underneath here so you can see also the wave files being played on the top so let's click at the beginning back at the beginning let's click play and let's listen Okay, I closed now uh, the uh, playback of the different files as you ha have heard. Um, Mute Master works perfectly, moving from one pattern to the other, and so doing is moving from one channel to the other, activating different channel, is also using fading, so you have that smooth transition between one channel to the other and the four from one waveform to the other. And you can use these live moving from, you know, mixing from one channel to the other, which is really the unique feature of this effect plugin. I hope you enjoy it and see you next time. Bye.